GoMarge Scientific would like to introduce you to Susie, the first advanced female simulator for both pre-hospital and nursing care. One of Susie's many unique features is that she's tetherless and is completely responsive as she is moved from the accident scene to the ambulance and then to the emergency room. Susie is equipped with advanced electronics that will give you comprehensive performance feedback. Treat Susie like a real patient. The first task following the arrival of your new Susie simulator is to ensure you have received all the equipment and accessories. Remove the tablet computer, which is packaged separately. And connect the RF module to either one of the USB ports on the left side of the tablet. Inside Susie's carrying case, you will find a blue bag containing several accessories. Remove the Allen wrenches from the bag and detach bolts from the knees. Connect the matching red tubes protruding from the calf and upper leg. Once the tubes are connected, attach the lower legs as shown. GoMard Tetherless Technology allows the communication, compressor, and power supply to be inside Suzy, eliminating external tubes, wires, and compressors. Suzy operates continuously during transport, and training can take place in the working environment. Now that your Suzy Total Mobile Solution Simulator is ready for use, let us take a tour of her many features. State-of-the-art total control blinking eyes with photosensitive pupils. The dilation state of the pupils, the blinking rate, and light reactivity are easily manipulated from the tablet PC, giving the user total control. A cyanosis feature allows the user to control the pallor of Susie's skin when hypoxic events occur. Susie's airway can be intubated both nasally and orally using LMA or an endotracheal tube. She could also be used for gavage and lavage procedures. Intubation can be made more difficult by turning on pharyngeal swelling, laryngospasm, and tongue edema. Additionally, Susie can be ventilated with a BVM or a mechanical ventilator. Once intubated, sensors detect the depth of the intubating tube. Should the tube be inserted too deep, the left lung is automatically disabled, realistically demonstrating right main stem intubation. Correcting the tube position enables the left lung. Ventilations are measured and logs showing the instructor exactly how students are performing. If neither oral nor nasal intubation is possible because the airway is compromised, then a tracheostomy tube can be inserted. Susie has multiple upper airway sounds synchronized with her breathing that can complement different airway symptoms. Users can easily control rate and depth of respiration and choose independent left, right, upper, and lower lung sounds, which are synchronized with selectable breathing patterns. Multiple sounds are available.
Either lung can be disabled at any time to simulate a collapsed lung. Suzy is equipped with several realistic heart sounds, which are tied to a user-defined heart rate and selectable rhythms. Suzy's conductive skin sights allow the attachment of real electrodes and defibrillator pads. This feature permits the user to track cardiac rhythms and events with their own equipment, just like with a human patient. To add to this realism, Suzy can be shocked with real energy for cardioversion and defibrillation drills. An AED will display Suzy's ECG, analyze her cardiac rhythm, and advise action a perfect addition to competency-based programs. Susie's conductive sites are conveniently placed anteriorly to allow easy access for pacing. Chest compressions are measured and logged showing the instructor exactly how students are performing. A full CPR sequence can be done with Susie and the providers will be automatically evaluated on different aspects of the compression and ventilations, such as rate, strength, and ratios. Bilateral, carotid, radial, brachial, femoral, posterior tibial, and pedal pulses operate continuously, synchronized with the ECG. Pulse strength varies with Susie's blood pressure and distal pulses can be disabled to simulate severe hypotension. Programmable blood pressure can be read using a sphygmomanometer and users can auscultate the court cough sounds. Susie has bilateral IV training arms that can be used for bolus or intravenous infusions, as well as for drawing fluids. In addition, she has IM sites on both her deltoids and quadriceps. Susie has the capability of having streaming audio, so you could be the voice of Susie and her responses at a distance of up to 50 meters. This feature allows you to create and store vocal responses in any language or select from a pre-recorded vocal menu. Susie is outfitted with a seizures mechanism that can be used in conjunction with scenarios. The severity of the seizures can be programmed with a touch of the stylus. There are two different intensities to choose from. Providers can perform finger stick and draw samples of simulated blood. Treat decubitus ulcers and an ulcerated foot. Susie also features a pulse oximetry sensor within the forefinger of each hand. This allows providers to attach commercially available pulse oximetry devices and determine Susie's oxygen saturation 